Deadliest Catch launched on the Discovery Channel in April 2005. The reality show has become a fan's favorite and has been on the air for 16 years. The series follows the Chronicles' lives of a group of crab fishermen in the Bering Sea. The crab fishermen have to navigate the difficult challenges when they go to sea to catch crab. Over the 17 seasons, many cast members of the show have departed due to many reasons. Among them, Jake Harris is the one. Jake Harris is the son of the legendary crab fisherman Captain Phil Harris and the brother of Josh Harris. Captain Phil Harris was a crab fisherman and the owner of the crab fishing vessel Cornelia Marie. He suffered from a massive stroke on January 29, 2010. He spent 11 days in ICU before succumbing to complications from his stroke on February 9, 2010, at 53. Following the death of Captain Phil Harris, Jake went through a difficult time. He found it difficult to cope with the situation and also struggled with drugs. In Season 6 of Deadliest Catch, Jake went to a rehab center in the sixth season finale. In Season 8, Jake joined FV Northwestern while FV Time Bandit. During the seasons, he again struggled with his drug addiction. Because of Jake's problematic behavior, he didn't take part in any fishing activities. In 2012, Jake left the show that shocked fans. So, why Jake left the show? Where is Jake Harris? In 2013, Josh Harris said his brother, Jake, wasn't doing well with his sobriety. He revealed Jake was addicted to drugs and needed to take care of his own stuff. Josh supported his younger by posting the picture of them on his Instagram. Josh is starring on the Discovery spin-off series Deadliest Catch, Bloodline. He used his father's old charts and maps to explore the Kona Coast. In August 2019, Jake was sentenced to 18 months in prison for driving under the influence and possession to manufacture or distribute heroin. He was pleaded guilty to the felony charges and sent to jail on August 1. According to police records, he has two DUI and one reduced DUI. Additionally, the police found a stolen Benelli shotgun in his motor. Jake was also charged with possession of a stolen fireman, but the charges were dismissed. Former Deadliest Catch star Jake Harris busted for DUI again in 2021. He was busted near Mount Vernon, Washington. The police reported that he was driving a Dodge Journey 86 MPH and 70 MPH zone. The cops said they discovered Jake's license is revoked and failed to have an ignition interlock installed. He was sent to county jail for felony DUI and misdemeanor driving on a license revoked. He's also charged $50,000. According to Josh, Jake is in a relationship with his new girlfriend. However, the identity of his girlfriend is under the wrap. It's reported that she is the mother of two kids. Josh said Jake loves being a dad and is good with kids. It seems like Jake is doing well and living a happy life with his family.